life is too short to be a hoarder. As Marie Kondo said, if it doesn't spark joy, it's gonna fly away. <laughs> My BFF, hello. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'm gonna do something so hard. I have been postponing uh, declutter because it's a massive work and I decided instead to split it in different categories and I will start with the fruity fragrance strong and fruity. I have more fruity fragrances, but today I picked the strongest and the ones that are not necessarily extra gourmand, although fruits are edible, right? <laughs> fruits are gourmand by default. And I have three categories. We have tropical fruity fragrances, sexy fruity fragrances, and dark fruity fragrances. And out of each category, I am going to keep only one very difficult task. It doesn't make sense to have more of them. It's not even my favorite scent profile. If you know me, I love vanilla, ambery, deep, warm, inviting fragrances. Let's declutter my strong and fruity fragrances together. The first category is with sexy, sexy, fruity bombs. The first fragrance is from Zerzhov, Zerzhov La Capital. This fragrance has strawberry, caramel, a little bit of peach, saffron, and some leather. But don't be afraid of that leather. This is so appealing to anyone and it is a mood booster for me. It smells like luxury, youth, and it is stunning. La Capital from Zerzo. Next, we have another fragrance in the same category. It's from Byron. Mula Mula. Mula Mula has again peach and caramel and wood. But the way they did it, it's sweeter and less transparent. If I would describe it in colors, this would be deep, dark red burgundy while La Capital is more pink magenta and I said that this would be great as well on a man I find it similar in my mind to Le Mal, Ultra Le Mal from Jean-Paul Gaultier so Mula Mula from Byron is another fruity sexy bomb and the third one in the same ballpark is from Bond number no. 9 Nomad I have been looking for this one since forever and I finally found it at a discount. It was a blind buy. I saw that it is similar to Mula Mula and La Capital. What it smells like, it is an wood bomb. So it has that wood which is very very strong. It also has a rose and pear and queens. And the way they blended it and it's also not very warm here but it's not my favorite <laughs> spoiler alert the fruits are a little too much for me the way that they mix together with the wood it's a little stomach turning so you can guess now that this one is not going to stay in my collection so nomad if it works on your skin then that's great i understand it is very powerful beast mode so if you are lucky i'm happy for you nomad from one number nine it's one that will leave my collection the last fragrance in this sexy fruity fragrance category is from kajal almaz this has black currant raspberry musk brown sugar it is pretty very beautiful i wore it to a special park with butterflies here in switzerland and it was so beautiful it was the perfect fragrance for that occasion so i have happy memories with it but the dry down is a little bit too musky for me it reminds me of Herba Pura 
although it's not that it's not as annoying as Ervapura, but this is on the chopping block because i don't wear it so often and i'm not a big fan of this scent profile so almas from kajal is on the chopping block the conclusion in this fruity sexy category i will let go of nomad i will let go of almas kajal sorry bye bye and now between these two i aim to keep only one and mula mula is a little too sweet and i cannot really smell the fruits in it so i will keep only zero la capital it's transparent strawberry sweet it's a winner zero la capital will stay with me next category is with dark fruity a little peculiar something that you have never seen before something like that the first one is made by one of my favorite perfumers quentin bish is from le liquide imaginaire desert suave the fruit here is dates it has sesame and some orange blossom it smells like the desert like you are eating some desserts in an oasis in the middle of the desert it is super strong all of them are strong in today's video and it is a very unique gourmand so i like that about it for me i'm not a big fan of dates it is very sweet thick strong so it is on the chopping block next dark fruity fragrance is from bon parfumeur 401 this has plum cedar and vanilla i get super strong plum and the plum is smoky in romania my grandparents used to cook smoked plums they used to dig a hole in the ground and then make the fire and put the plums there in the smoke and let them sit for two weeks so this smells like that plum it is nostalgic for me but in the same time it was not the happiest time of my life and this is being compared to tom ford plum japonais i don't wear it as often it's more of a memory in a bottle but a memory that is not the happiest so for that reason it's on the chopping block bon parfumeur 401 the third dark strong fruity fragrance is from perles and perfumes Toncazur. Toncazur has also been included in my Tonka bean fragrance video. Check it out if you haven't already. This has blackcurrant, blueberry, champagne, Tonka bean. For me, it smells like plum compote that my mom used to cook with extra, extra sugar. So imagine you have a pot where you start boiling plums and adding a ton of sugar. This smells like it and it is very strong very sweet it is beastly and i was expecting something slightly different i don't reach for it that often it is beautiful but i think someone else could love it more more than i do yeah this one is also on the chopping block and the last fragrance in the dark fruity category is a cherry it's from Gritty, Duquesa. Duquesa has cherry, saffron, orange, a little bit of jasmine. It is very strong on my skin. Airy, it's an airy cherry with saffron. And it's stunning. It's one of my favorite date night fragrances. So imagine you are wearing a burgundy dress you are all dolled up you spray duquesa on and the limousine is waiting in front of your building to take you to the most upscale luxurious restaurant high heels on duquesa on your skin you are going to have the best night of your life beautiful duquesa gritty i'm going to keep only one fragrance from this category i am letting go of 401 Bon Parfumeur 
I am letting go of Desert Swap from Lely Kid Imaginaire. I am letting go, this is so hard, of Don Kazur from Perlescent. And I am keeping only what brings me joy. <laughs> All of them bring me joy, but I'm only keeping what really sparks joy. And it's Duquesa. Duquesa Kuriki. And the last category is with tropical fruits. Strong tropical fruity fragrances. The first one is from Frederick Mal. It's a fragrance that I have not heard many people talk about. It's music for a while. This is a pineapple, pineapple scent. This has pineapple mixed with lavender, patchouli, some spices, anise. I love the way that they described it on the website. They said that a fur jacket is falling off the naked shoulders of a woman and she's smiling to herself, feeling so confident, she's conquering the room. So this is a completely unisex fragrance and it smells like Coca-Cola, a cola cup of juice. And instead of adding lime or lemon, you would add on top a slice of pineapple. It is juicy, it is beautiful, but the base everything that it has, it's a little bit strange. <laughs> if you enjoy niche fragrances, check it out. It's not mass appealing. The opening, the top notes are super nice, but it has some darkness. And my boyfriend said that I smell weird, so I'm not gonna keep it. Music for a while is going to leave my collection. Next tropical fruity fragrance is from Tiziana Terenzi, the popular one, Kirke. Kirke has many fruits, passion fruits, so I will include that here in the tropical fruit category. And it also has raspberry, peach, musk, a sand accord. I think that is the part that is really bothering me. It has the same chemical Something that doesn't work on my skin as Herba Pura. I don't like that part. And of course, when I don't like a scent, it will last for days. Even after I wash my clothes in the washing machine, I can still smell Kirke. So Kirke is on the chopping block, although it was a birthday gift, but I don't want to keep it and have it go to waste when someone else can love it. Kirke is on the chopping block. Next up, we have a fragrance from Stefan Humbert Lucas, another cult favorite, God of Fire. This has mango, some red berries, musk, cipri oil. It is airy, it's not dark, deep, it's not even sweet. I associate this smell with Kuala Lumpur. I wore it last year when I visited there. It's a perfect scent for a tropical city escape. It's not tropical as going to the beach, getting some sun is as if you are hustling at the tropics. I don't wear it as much. It's not similar to Baccarat Rouge, but it has this airy thing going on, which is not my favorite scent profile. So God of Fire is also on the chopping block. Surprise, surprise. The other tropical fragrance has a fruit that is tropical, but also very popular, and it's banana. <laughs> my fragrance with banana. The only fragrance in my collection with banana is from Navitus Ambrosia Imperial. This has banana and saffron, cognac. It has many, many notes. It also has cipri oil. Or Magarmotha. It smells like a banana. <laughs> Wait for it. Made in a minty way. On my skin it's like that. It has the same airiness as Baccarat Rouge and God of Fire, which are not my favorite and I'm sure someone else will love it more. So Ambrosia Imperial from Navitus. It's a beautiful fragrance but it's 
not working on my skin on the chopping block and i have another fragrance i had five in this tropical category this is from shop art santal odear this is mango and sandalwood and vanilla and the way that they described it they said that you are in an oasis in the desert and you find the tree of life which is full of mangoes <laughs> this is it it is sweet delicious tropical as similarities it is a little similar to good girl gone bad from kilian but this one is sweeter and stronger and longer lasting santalo de art from Sopar could be the winner in this category so this is the one i am going to pick and keep in my collection the rest are going to meet someone else that will love them more kirke ambrosia imperial god of fire and music for a while the fragrances that i am going to keep are la capital from zerzo strawberry and saffron Duquesa, gritty, beautiful cherry, and Santal Odear from Chopart, mango and sandalwood. It doesn't make any sense to hang on to 200 fragrances if I'm not using them. And I am gonna let them go as hard as it is. I would rather put it back in the industry, circular economy, someone else will love them more than I do and that will make me happy. It's also gotten to feel a little overwhelming with so many fragrances. How many fragrances do you have in your collection and how many do you think are too many? That was it for today, thank you so much for watching, for liking this video, for subscribing. Before I go I want to leave you with a quote, it doesn't take a lot of strength to hang on. It takes a lot of strength to let go. Let me know in the comments down below which fragrance are you considering letting go of. Wear up makes you happy and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye.